Greetings and salutations and welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Today is the 8th of October 2023 for you time travellers out there. We've been to an antiques fair this morning, we've uh, been on the car boots, we bought some gear, some coins, gear. I won't be showing you in this episode because the video is going to run quite long. It'd be even longer than the one I put up last week so I'm not having that so we're, we're uh, leaving the, the coins out this week. But you get to see him next week and I've got to tell you I've got some beautiful half crowns there and what have you. But that's for next week. This week um, it's been pretty much raining all the time. In fact not five minutes ago there was a little bit of rain coming down. It's, it's gone now. But it was, it's been nice today. It's been gorgeous. Sunshine's been out. It's been lovely. Um, unfortunately... Um, I've not been here to to do very much today. Otherwise, it'd been a great day. But uh, we have been, you know, we've been on the allotments this week. You're going to see in um, in the next few clips me um, preparing the um, the two beds. What had the golden fleece and golden crest comb. You're going to see me um, clearing them, and we're going to be putting the onions in. Um, the, the onions what we bought last week. We bought four varieties. So you're going to see me putting them in but before we do that we've got so many different stages to get through but a cup driving me nuts um, but um, I'm, I'm filming uh, she drive me that much nuts that much I forgot to turn the camera on at one point a cru crucial point uh, lucky I've got a bit of footage that I can show you what we were doing but oh god she pain she was managed to get the jobs done so we're going to start off uh, removing the first lot of sweet corn next to the chickens. We're going to move it, get it rid of it. We're going to clear it all up that bed, level it, rake it, owe it, and prepare it for what's for its what it's about to to receive a little bit later on in the video. So uh, what we're going to do today? We're going to lift this corn out. We've got a bag just there. Uh, we're going to throw all this sweet corn into that bag. Obviously, we're going to have to bang all the, the, the soil off the roots. Basically, everything's coming out there. We're going to clear the bed, turn it over, give it a good raking, hoeing, and uh, get it prepare it for the next lot of crops that we're going to be growing in it. Um, there's no corn left on there. We took that corn out about two weeks ago, but there was a few smaller ones there. What we left as decoys to keep them off these ones. But you can see the, the squirrels have been eating these as well. I'm struggling because there's no one else on the allotment actually get any corn in. So the squirrels have found mine and uh, you know they just won't leave it alone, they're relentless. Unfortunately, so here we are, we're going to clear all this out now. Now these roots are pretty toughly embedded in so it's going to be fun getting them all out. Um, I've got my spade there to dig the roots out if it gets too much. We'll clean, them, we'll clean the bed and uh, we'll show you what it looks like after. So this is before. Uh, like I said, we're going to speed it up in a moment or two and uh, hopefully get all this corn, these um, what's left of it, into this bag here. So let's have at it. I know what you're saying, leave these in because they're full of nitrogen, the roots, but I say I've got, I've got enough nitrogen, trust me. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to retreat to the greenhouse because it's raining again. We'll come back to this, but um, this is Salford for you. One minute it's sun shining, which it was five minutes ago, and the next minute it's raining. It can be blustery. We, we have we have everything thrown at us here, so 
I should I should be used to it, but I don't want to get wet. When I get wet, I end up with the the lurgy. So we'll come back to this in a in a bit, and uh, we'll clear it all. Right, let's go and get out of this rain. So no sooner had I got into the greenhouse, the rain stopped. So it's stopping and starting. That's what's happening. Anyway, we're going to have at it. We're going to continue doing this. got the bag so what we've got to do now quickly get all these weeds up then we can tidy the bed up and uh, think about what we're going to stick in it next it would have helped I would have uh, had the uh, the camera turned on for this bit but I've took all the weeds out now and uh, I just rake it flat for the time being and introduce some fertilizers in there leave them for a week or two then we can get stuff planted in there that'll be the next lot we're going to be taking out but bag of corn a bag of a uh, sweet corn there to go to the tip but yeah uh, we got all the uh Got all the weeds out, got the uh, corn out, give it a good hoeing. Might introduce some more compost into there as well. Right, we'll be right back folks. Still got a few things to do. Well, I'm just going to rake it flat and then this is done for now. Bloody rain. Well, we leveled it. Now I better get out of this rain before it levels me. But yeah, I've got a clear bed. There's all the weeds in that um, in that bag there. I've cleaned the spade in the hole. I cleaned the rake in a bit. But yeah, time to get out of this rain. So as you saw, we cleared all that. Um, we got the the bed tidied up. I left it a day, and I come down. I looked at my corn. The, the golden fleece and it was all been attacked by the squirrel. One squirrel has done all this damage. Uh, it nibbled out of everyone. It couldn't have just set one, it just went through everyone nibbling them. Anyway, um, I decided to take all the corn out. You're going to see what we ended up with. Uh, the chickens got some corn. You get to see the chickens stuffing their faces on the corn. You see the selection of corn that we which what we ended up with. Now I've already took the corn out 
uh, a day, two days earlier, I would have had 70% of the corn. It turns out the chickens got 70% and I got 30%. However, the that's how the squirrel got 70%. percent i was saying that though, the chickens um, did get um, eight or nine um, cobs of corn. So I'm going to show you now. Me removing the corn out. Well, this is heartbreaking. Um, I, obviously, I took the corn out of here the, uh, yesterday, all the the dead corn, which we left as a decoy. But as you can see, destroyed, 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 destroyed. They've even. Um, try, had a go here so what we're going to do I know, do know the corn is is like ready so I'm going to lift the corn out what's left of it but um, as you can see one, two, three, four, five, six six seven even eight they've had a little nibble there nine ten Yeah, 10 they've had, so there's about, there's about another 10, 20 in there, so, no, about 15, 20 of them, which is, uh, it's quite sad really, but just look at the devastation, this has happened in, in a couple of days, really annoying, right, we'll, we'll see what we've got here, we'll pull them out in a minute, and see what we've got, and the ones that are not quite right, we'll give to the chickens. Well guys, looking at the corn... All this is all destroyed. All this is all chewed. That's all that I've got left out of all this. Um, like I say, the squirrels, they're not just took, they're not just gone and net one. They, what they do, they just they chew a bit off some, then they move to the next one. And, I mean, these corn, I mean, <coughs> look at them, perfect. And you got the bites out, and you got all this, so they've basically, just destroyed everything here and they've done it in a matter of uh, a few days well we're going to be taking these out now um, but this is all I've got I've got one two there's about four or five there I uh, don't even know if they're any good or not they've managed to take the best ones that's for sure I can see another one in the back there we'll pull that out in a second but uh, yeah and I'm more concerned about that corn over there because they're just going to take that as well so yeah it's very annoying very frustrating um, at this moment in time all I want to do is bring my rifle down and blow the brains out of the bugger but uh, you know it doesn't matter now. Like I said, if the squirrels can't get anything else, this is this is what they've targeted anyway. They will move on now. Now they've, this is all gone here. They will move on to somewhere else. It's just, uh, but yeah, that's just destruction. That that's why um, these invasive uh, species should should be eradicated in the UK. That's grey squirrel. Not only does it do this sort of damage, it just takes the um, the red squirrel out as well. Uh, the red squirrel population is getting smaller and smaller because they force them out of the habitat. A bit like uh, on here at the moment, but yeah, it's very, very, very frustrating. Oh well, I'm going to give all them to the chickens. At least the chickens are going to be uh, do all right out of well, it. The chickens are going to benefit from them sweet corn. They're really enjoying them getting stuck in there, aren't they? Oh well, leave them to it. At least the squirrels didn't get the get, get everything. So that's the, the corn that we've took. I would have gone in there yesterday and took the corn yesterday. I would have had twice as much as that. Um, come down this morning and well, they, as you saw there on the um, on the corn, they're all been wiped out. But this is this is what we've got. So it's not too bad. I mean, I can live with that. Well, guys, the uh, the weather's um, this, it's actually starting to it's a bit of sun now. So I'm quick enough, I'll get all these weeds out of this bed. Um, like I say, I'm stopping and starting at the moment. So I, in between the rain showers, I'm getting absolutely soaked. So I get this up, hold the bed a bit, level it out, and then we'll come back to this bed again. So this is what we're doing. Unfortunately, um, I, my GoPro turned off. This GoPro I'm using at the moment turned off. And when I come to turn it on I formatted the hard drive like an idiot so whatever footage was on there I've lost however 
Uh, I have got other footage what we can use so let's get these weeds out and then we'll we'll get stuck in. Well buttercup. What do you reckon sweetheart? She's weighing it up. <laughs> well it's all clear anyway. There's a few little weeds in there, that's about it. That other one's clear as well. Butcher Cup's inspecting both of them. I'm sure she'll be moaning. But what we will be doing is putting nets onto these. When we put the up, we're going to put onions in here. However, we've not even started to get to that stage yet. What I need to do is add a load of fertilizers and what have you into here. I might add some compost into here as well. Um, got a load of compost to throw in in some buckets potatoes that I've already um, done some potato reveals I'm going to be throwing them in here and this one like I say I've just done this but I will be back to it I've, it's already had an owing but I'll come back again and do another owing shortly right so that's it jobs are good so the corn looked a bit what's there a bit greyish there this this iphone at 14 that i got the, the the picture quality i don't know how to set it how to set the uh so it does the, the same picture all the time i must have touched something it's making the the gray it should be yellow i don't it's contrast or what i don't know what i did i uh, must have touched something uh, but it's 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 not working correctly and um, I don't know how to, to alter it but uh, yeah the corn was lovely what, what we actually harvest that's all gone the girls had that um, from day one I dropped it that was it everybody just nailed it but um, all the corn I've got magpie now you know I'm trying to do a video here I've got a bloody magpie here and a plane, a plane frame right over the top of me shut up you bugger Maggie the magpie by the way every time I open my mouth she's going to start chirp going on you won't be able to hear me half the time oh she's gone into the greenhouse unbelievable so now, what you're going to see me doing now is um, adding some fertilizers into that bed uh, and both beds actually and you're going to see me tipping um, five buckets of uh, compost into the, the bed next to the chickens it was while I was um, going through all the, the buckets looking for small spuds as I tipped one bucket, I think it was the fourth bucket it was, it was full of spuds wasn't it I picked one of the wrong buckets up so um, I didn't record it but you will see um, a carrier bag full of spuds we did weigh them and um, we did alright, there's uh, some Desiree but you're going to see me now spreading the fertilizers, owing it in, leveling it all, getting the beds ready for the onions. So that's what that was the next stage. Well, here we are again. I've got some f sulfur uh, phosphate. I've got some phosphate. Uh, I've got some um, blood fish and bone. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to quickly spread it around in this bed. So that's one done. Next one on the list is this one.
So as you see, we put a um, blood fishing bone and a sulfur uh, phosphate into the both of these beds. I'm going to get the hole now. Uh, just throw it in and uh, we'll rake it flat. It's going to rain at least about four or five times before tomorrow so it'll all soak in and dissolve into the soil and these beds will be ready to rock and roll very soon so let me get me home <laughs> bed prepared now for a second bed okay this is a second bed now So there you go, that's the second bed all prepared. Like I say, we've got both beds now cleared of the um, sweet corn. We've got blood fish and bone, sulfur phosphate. There's uh, some nitrates in there as well. Um, this, these beds should do really well. I'm thinking I might add a bit of compost into that bed there before I put anything else into it but the ground's been prepared everything's ready to rock and roll my dailies are looking all right as well at the back there and um, yeah it won't be long before we'll be covering them up but since I was uh, since I, I did this uh, yesterday um, the, the cats have been all over it so I will have to put some netting over the top of these when I put whatever I put in it to just start them off. Otherwise, they'll be digging it up. I mean, the, the, the compost itself in this bed here and uh, the one over there is so fine. You can use, you can dig down about a foot with your bare hands, so that's how fine the, the, the soil is. I mean, you don't have to believe me, I can quickly show you. There's me hand disappearing down the hole now. Oh. So it's, I say the soil is well prepared for it. Anything could gonna stick into it, which is pretty awesome really. Considering I grow all, all, all year round in all these beds, they don't get much of a break yet we get some fantastic crops. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly clean my tools and uh, put them away. And this job will be done for now, but we've got a, we will be back to this shortly. Well, there's no potatoes in that bucket neither. But I say there's uh, there's five buckets without any compost. So I'm just uh, without any um, potatoes in. So I'm just making sure that there's no potatoes in the buckets because uh, I definitely don't want to put small potatoes into this bed because uh, because of me all sorts of problems next year. Right, we'll be back when we're done.
Buttercup's killing me. Come out of the way, you. <laughs> Don't go on there. Kill ya. Just walk straight across that, aren't you? What's she like? Pain in the backside. Right, I've got one more barrel of uh, compost to spread in there. I'll spread it in, in a bit. Uh, but like I say, right now, I'm just sifting through the buckets to see making sure we get all the tiny little spuds out Right, um, there's a net just to the right on there, so I'll probably end up breaking my net, tripping over it when I rake the, um, the soil from this side evenly over the bed. So that's what we're doing. Well, that was a bit of a pain, but um, yeah, we got the the compost spread sort of evenly. We will come back to it and uh, put the onions in. You're wondering where Buttercup is? There she is. There, watching everything could do. I know I'm going to kill her. She run across the bloody bed there, bouncing on that bit a bit a minute ago. Unbelievable. I really could do with better netting, but that netting is, is perfectly fine, even though there's a few holes in it. All right, I'm going to get my wheelbarrow put away, and uh, I'm going to take my spuds home. I've got six pounds of spuds well, there. Guys, we've got a few few spuds there. Um, I've just been going through um, my empty buckets, taking the um, taking the small potatoes out, and uh, I come across a. A bucket full of potatoes. Uh, I didn't weigh them. Well, I didn't didn't film them to be quite honest with you. But uh, yeah, I've had buttercup. She's my witness. What we've been doing is filling this with uh, all the empty buckets of compost. Um, so we will be putting the onions in this bed shortly. I've got nets on it at the moment. The nets there to stop buttercup and the foxes from rolling in the compost it's not stopped so she just walked straight across the net but I don't think she'll do it again once uh, once they get the onions in but uh, yeah we've got uh, just there we've got six pound of spuds in fact let's uh, quickly show you set the scales to zero the hook in and well five six it's just short of six pound anyway just short of six so to be honest with you six pound of spuds <laughs> that's better than I thought I was going to get because I didn't think I was going to get any spuds I thought they were all empty buckets barring the one but um yeah, what I've been doing is uh, sieving through, getting all the tiny little spuds out because when I throw them into that bed, the spuds has, uh, start to grow. And the uh, last thing I want spuds coming up with my onions, so I've been methodically going through the compost, making sure we got it all out. We ended up, I think, uh, got a few, few smaller ones here, which uh, I've not weighed, but um, 
Yeah, the bed's all been been seeded with uh, new compost. There's a, there's a load of fertilizers in there, plus there's a load of newish compost. The other bed doesn't need it, so I've got two beds ready to, to plant my onions in. Anyway, I'm going to head off. Uh, like I say, it's uh, about quarter past six in the evening now, and it's getting dark. And um, I won't be able to see to, to go. Anyway, there are my girls. They'll be going to bed in a minute. <laughs> well, there's one of them. But they're not buggers. Still, anyway, they're still playing, but... Uh, yeah, me and Buttercup, we're finished playing, we're off. Let's catch you later, guys. So, we got got it all prepared for the onions. The next thing I needed to do with the onions was to go through them all, make sure which ones were viable to use and which one which ones wasn't. So I thought we'd critique the, 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 where we bought them from. We bought two bags from, four bags from um, Bent's and two bags from this Worsley um, garden centre. Uh, we was at the front of the plot going through them all checking to see how, how many bad ones was in the packs it turns out there was really good there was only a couple of uh, bad ones in the whole lot so um it is what it is so you'll see that and then we're going to go straight to the back of the plot we're going to start putting the um the onions in i'll speed it up in parts it was when i got to the second bed that's when everything started to hit the fan buttercup distracting me didn't turn the camera on so you, you don't get me to see me putting all the the onions into that bed all you get to see well i'm not going to spoil it for you you'll see and but we will get all the onions in and put nets on the lot of them so that's the next stage of um what we've been doing this week sorry spider Well guys, what we're doing, uh, we're just checking on all these onions to see they're okay and they're viable. viable. Uh, these are the red, um, red winter onions, that's what these ones are. And so are these ones. I will stick a label in with the in the boxes, but right now, we're just going to check through them and see what we've got. Problem is, Careful tunnel in my hands, and I uh, find it difficult to manipulate the bags at times. Um, so these ones, radar. the ones so all the onions what we take out of here now we're going to be putting into there so each each one I'm checking making sure they're okay that's fine so there should be an hundred here let's see if there's an hundred it's 15 one hundred. So there's one hundred and five there. There's a couple of chewed up ones. That one there's actually started to go. It's started, started to go um, to shoot, but it's uh, it's not very good. And that one, it's got uh, it's got something there on it. So we're not going to use that. So we've got one hundred and five. Um, so we could do like nine rolls of uh, 11 which should take me to 99 uh, we're gonna have a couple spare ones so that's good so I, I can live with nine rolls that can go in the bag there let's do these ones so that's what we're doing anyway so I'm not gonna bore you to death uh, however if we find any dodgy ones in this pack show you but we've had two dodgy ones so far out of these 
and these are the ones what you're getting bent so uh, thanks if you're watching we're critiquing your video we're critiquing your onions right electro electro Well, I'll be back in a minute. Well, guys, I've been diddled out of uh, 10 onions. There's supposed to be 100 there, and uh, we've only got 90 plus two duffers. So, yeah, so we got um, what we can do, we can take a few of them out of there to add into there, and then we'll get the we'll round them up the red onions anyway let's move on to these ones see what we've got here these are the sense shoe so they're going in here see how many onions we get here We got 87 there out of that one. Out of that that one, we got 87. But they're a smaller onion, so you get obviously they're going off weight. So uh, yeah, 79. Let's check this one. These are the uh, radar. They're going to go in here. I don't think there's going to be as many of these. Okay, so we got 68 of them. So <sighs> it is what it is. So I say, out of all them, uh, them the Senshu and the uh, the radar, uh, we had no damage onions. So um, and they was the company what I supplied them was uh, D Re. That's a. Uh, who produce these onions, these two, the uh, yellow onions. Oops. Bloody onion. Um, however, in this, in these, um, tailors, uh, there was a couple in one, and, and there was three in one, and one in the other. I've just put them in there. About four bad ones. So, to be quite honest with you, um, both companies uh, produce uh, a decent set of onions, so... Hi guys, well today, believe it or not, it's sunshine and I can actually feel rain coming down here. <laughs> Every time I do summer, this is what it's like. But um, today we're going to be putting these Sensu, Sensu and um, I think they're called Radar, these ones, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Radar. So these are going into this bed. Um, but yeah, it's actually, I can, there's no not much cloud up there. Sun's there. But it's a bloody woodpecker there chirping away. Very chipper. You can't see it, but it's there at the top of the tree. Behind this, the first tree, you can't see it. There's some spectators there. But we're going to get on with this. I've got my measuring stick out. We're doing them every six inches. I don't know if I've got enough to do the old bed, but we'll soon find out, won't we? So, that's all we're doing. Move these radar to one side. Push them in. Point it. So what you want, in this case, that there's the, the bottom. That's the top. It's usually pointy end up. But in this case, you've got to look very carefully that's the bottom where the roots are that's where the top is what you do push them just to the tip what tends to happen with these as well as the roots start to form the actual onion will push out uh, some people say oh it's uh it's the birds pulling them out but what it really is is, is the uh, actual um it's the roots pushing them up, so you just push them down gently. Now this soil, you probably see me pushing them in. I'm doing this, I'm getting these and I'm pushing them in like this, okay? 
Now, if I was to come over here and go like that with my fingers, um, <laughs> got to be very gentle. So they don't need a lot of pushing down. But what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple. We're going to do a row. Sorry about the dodgy camera work here, guys. So that's the f this would be the first row. That's the very last one. Right, so we've got a row in. And uh, we've got all down there to do, so I don't know how many we're going to have, how many rows we're going to get. But uh, we're going to have at it. And like I say, I've got a couple of spectac spectators there watching every move I make. So anyway, we're going to crack on and I'll show you when it's done. Um, ground, by the way, is soaking wet because it's not stopped raining all week. So it's lovely and um, damp. Right, let's crack on. Guys, there you go. Um, there's uh, 14 rolls of 11. I think that works out about 154, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote Dolores. Um, I have myself thinking about it too much, if that's the case. But uh, yeah, we've got the Sensu and we've actually got the, the radar as well. So we've got the two yellow skin onions in there. Um, you could see how, when I was stepping on it, what it was doing, it was pushing the soil down. Now imagine if I would put my foot in that, in a, in a local area, it had gone down about a foot deep. So, yeah, we had to uh, you walk the plank a few times there. But the job's done. This bed's done now. This, I'm going to put the net over him to stop the foxes and the cats getting in there. And within a few few weeks, you start to see him um, coming up. And you'll ob you obviously you're going to start to see some of the onions there. Um, pushing out of the ground and that's the roots that are doing that so you just put on a, just go come along and just push them back in it don't do them no harm so there we go 154 yellow skin onions winter onions in the bed so i thought i'd come down it's going to be quiet i'm going to be able to put my onions in my, um these are called electric onions there they are in that tub there we've got um some red winter onions there in that tub I just started to put a line in and buttercups, um, you now she's sat on the bloody board and uh, I, I need the board to actually use as a guide to put the onions in. So it's not looking very good here at the moment. Buttercups stop in play like she normally does. I've even took that carton out so she could sit in the box but no, she doesn't want to. She'll move eventually. I'll lift the plank up so that works but I can't see it happening. She's a pain. But, you know, she keeps me company, so I can't really complain, can I? My bug logs. Move your backside. Oi! Never mind, no. Sure she said no then. 
Well, oh, guys, well. I'm on my last two rows and I just realised I haven't turned the bloody camera on. I'm really gutted. Um, you seem there like a monkey climbing up that plank there. Well, we've got a couple more rows to do. And then um, we've got uh, all the, the red onions in. I've left the labels in, uh, these slip labels here, so I know what they are. But I thought I might as well show me doing the last two rows anyway, so here we go. So I've got the uh, the net back on here. I um, forgot to turn the camera on, didn't I, when I was putting these onions in. However, I might have caught a little bit just to show you. But um, yeah, there's 165 onions in this bed. Six inches apart, so they should do okay. Uh, we've got another 165 in that bed. So basically we've got the winter onions, winter red onions there and the electric red onions further up. We've got the Sensu yellow skins here and we've actually got the, the radar further up there. So there's four different varieties of onions in the beds with the nets on to stop the um, stop the cats from going in there and using these beds as cat litters because the compost is so fine, that's what they tend to do. And the foxes tend to roll over in them as well, so I don't want them flattening the onions before um, they get off to a start. We, we'll take the nets off when they get to, when they start touching the net and uh, just leave them through the winter they're, they're perfectly fine but yeah two beds of onions done there let's move on so there we go we've got 330 onions in there four different varieties the sensu the radar the uh, red winter onions and the electric red onions they're all in um, only time will tell how they will do although we've had lots of rain we've had sunshine they will, they'll be about this big before they go dormant for the winter. That's what I'm reckoning, but um, they will start to grow pretty quickly, actually. So I'm going to keep my eyes on them and make sure any of the ones what pop out are pushed back down. So that's that's what I was, I've got to do. Moving on from that, I wanted to there was um, some weed in the front greenhouse that had grown out. I come out the um, the clover compost and. Um, well, you're going to see me now um, tidying it up. I'll show you what it looked like before and I'll show you what it looked like after. You're going to see the basket of fire, the chilies. Give you a couple of tips on them chilies as well, um, what not to do. And you might even get to see the um, the leaks and everything which we're going to be putting into the beds at the back of the pot shortly. So let me take you into the front greenhouse and show you what we've done in what we've done in there this week. Well, guys, what I'm doing at the moment, um, see all these little weeds. Um, Picking them up, it's amazing just how much of this stuff is in this clover. So we've done this bit here. We're just working his way down the bed. But um, yeah, what it is, I don't want it to drown out the um, the onion bunchings. Uh, they're doing quite well actually, and so is this uh, um, radicchio. This one's not so good, but uh, you know they will grow. But I'll come back in a minute and show you it's all nice and clear and all nice and tidied up. It's amazing just how, how fast this has come up through the, in the clover. So this is actually in the clover, in the bag of the, this stuff here. That's what's in it. And uh, it's a bit annoying really. Uh, so far we've got that much. At least the chickens are going to have a bit of a, a snack. But anyway, I'll come back, show you it all nice and tidy in a moment or two. It's too tight to put the camera in here to show you me doing it. But um, yeah, we'll get it all nice and clear. So watch this space. Well, it looks a damn sight better now. All them weeds are out, that's the main thing. Just got all this, uh, these leaks and 
these cabbages and kale to go out and I need to collect these um, basket of fire chilli peppers quite a few of them on there and um, they're almost ripened now whole pile of them there uh, be very careful how you touch these as well uh, and when you do touch them with your bare hands wash your hands in cold water don't use hot water because the um, the hotness will go into your pores of your skin and when you start rubbing your eyes when you're getting a bit tired you end up blinding yourself so just make sure you wash your hands in cold water not hot water cold soapy water and you'll be fine so we, we've cleaned the greenhouse now and uh, it won't be long before I'll be time. In fact, I'll probably take the uh, chilies out next week if I've got any time, that is. I've got to get my car through its MOT and um, I've got to pay, sort my insurance out. There's a load of other things I need to do, so I'm going to be short of time, but uh, we will be taking them out, probably. Uh, the next job, and probably the last job to do, um, is the... Um, the Orphorn at the back of the plot couldn't get round the back of the plot because this thing is got really sharp thorns on it and it needed cutting back it shouldn't even be where it was it should have been cut right back and anyway I decided to while I had the, a bit of time get the loppers um, you're gonna see what it looked like before you see like what it looked like after we've done it and you see the reason why in a moment why we actually cut it back let's get you down to the back of the plot and show you what we've done I'm just gonna chop some of this um, off or so I can get round the back of my pallets. It's uh, sticking out, it's causing a problem. It's coming off the other plot and there's no one on this plot at the moment. So I need to just uh, do a bit of trimming here. There's a path and it's uh, right in the way. So this is what it looks like at the moment. It should look a bit better in a, uh, in a while. What you're looking at here is uh, where we, where all these bushes was all growing here. You couldn't get round the back of the um, the plot, um, the ore form, which was uh, in the way. We've chopped it back, tidied it all up, so there's no nothing in the way now. And this is the the path here. This is the path. So really, you should be able to walk round it. And this this thing here was growing right in the middle of the path anyway we've trimmed it now we can get round the back of the plot and uh, we can get to all these paving stones and get to move them because we will be working here shortly oh for god's sake buttercup what are you doing there hey what are you doing i don't care you shouldn't be up there hey you got a trick of folks of bombing all my videos, aren't you? Eh? Yes, you have. Don't answer back. No, that's dangerous. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, down. Don't you dare. Oh, you little bugger. Oh, I'll give up. Don't drink out of there. For God's sake, do not. Butter. Oh, you little sod. <laughs> if I walk away, she'll follow. Right, I'm heading up to the top end of the allotments. I've just grabbed me my old pod here. I've just been doing some filming for the end of the year shot. Wow! Wow! Calling her. Wow! And here she comes a running. <laughs> you tell me I haven't got that cat trained. So we now we can get round the back and move all the paving stones off the uh, the compost bin. You know, everything, there's a lot of things all around the compost bin, so we need to clear that. So we, what we're doing, bit by bit, we're moving it all away, and you can only do it so much at, um, at a time. So we get them all cleared, and then probably, well, the 31st of October, the pumpkin's going to come out anyway. Excuse me. I've got, I've got like I said, I've got the lurgy here. And um, being around all these flowers is also um, playing up with my sinuses. My nose is all blocked up. But um, yeah, we'll get round to once the pumpkin comes out, we can get the burning bin into the bed, and we can burn all the um, the 
the compost bin and we can rebuild it and we can do the other one as well because we'll have access to it to do the other one so this is all what we're going to be doing anyway i'm going to get off now get this edited the time is coming up to five to six in the evening i've got i've got to try and get this video up before half nine because i've got other things to do after that so it's a mad mad rush to get the video edited and get it uploaded now what i've got to go and do so make sure the chickens are okay make sure buttercup's um, got enough food to see through the night lock all the, the greenhouses up except for buttercups and then uh, we'll get out of here so hope you enjoyed the video sorry i couldn't show you the coins this week but we have got some absolutely fantastic ones i will show them you next week but that's it for now and um, i'm gonna get out of here so thanks for watching stay safe and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.